residential property here with a bunch of flats. We've been called out because a customer has had the water supplier contact them and tell them they have a higher water usage than normal. Here's the meter feeding the site. I've had to speed it up as the leak is very small. The dial highlighted is constantly moving with nothing in use. So let's get it. Nobody knows or has any drawings where the pipes are feeding the building. It's going to be guesswork. I'll have to go in all the flats to check the basics. And after a while, I located a stopcock just in here on the ground floor flat. Looks like it goes through the wall and down. And according to the property owner, there's actually a basement under here. So let's go have a look down there, see if we can find any mains feeds coming in. It's a bit spooky down here. So here's the mains electric coming in here. Can't see any mains pipe work though. Some radiator pipes for the flat above. Oh, that's a dead end. Not down here either. Sorry about that, had to be done. So I managed to get the pressure test on the mains pipe work. Inside this empty flat that's getting a refurb. So with the pipe work on test, I hunted around to see if anything obvious was showing up anywhere. It's going to take a while to get any evidence because the leak's so small. It's going to take a while for the gases to get there. I doubt there's anything this far up, but we've got to check everywhere. So on my way back down to the meter, I spotted this. What looks like a lead main entering the building. It's exposed to the elements and damaged. It's not ideal. There's no leak there. So it took a long time to test the pipe, but eventually the leak started to show itself, which is possibly due to me testing at a higher pressure. That's where the basement is. I'm going back in there. So I was heading back down here, squeeze past this car, and I felt a bit of squelching beneath my feet. So we turned back around, asked the customer to move their car, and hey presto, we've got water coming out the floor. And this is because I've made the leak more violent while testing. I went to dig it as soon as I found it before getting some footage. That's why it looks disturbed. Once the leak was exposed, which didn't take long, it's very shallow. Should be at least 750 mil down. It's a lead mains pipe. So I managed to get a fit in and cut just on the split so I can minimize the amount of fittings used. The whole pipe will have to be replaced soon, which the customer is planning on now that we found that the main feed to the property and the building is lead. After the pressure test was carried out, confirming no more leaks got the water back on back filled the area another happy customer van needs a bit of a clean jobs are good in if you have a leak let's get it